Open, and it is. Good morning to you. We're live here. Get a Chick-fil-A at the Crossings in North Johnson City. I'm the beast, and she's the beauty. We're going to talk to her coming up here. Just that made her laugh. So we'll talk to her in just a second. Good morning to you. We're live at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City here on the Tom Thomas Sports Show. Again, Facebook Live around the world. And again, we always start our show. We unashamedly dedicate our show to the man who hung on the cross, the Lord Jesus. And so uh, here's our verse to get us rolling for today. And it is as follows. Isaiah 43, 1 says, Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. So how about that? That's a way to get it going. And uh, we're very excited. We've got a lot of folks lined up and ready to go. We're going to be joined by Greg Salyer a little bit later on. Dave Anji joins us a little bit later on as well. And so uh, oh, let's hit this. Get that right there. Got to get rid of that one too. So uh, hitting a lot of prompts, a lot of buttons. But we're here, and she is here. And I want to see, where is your magic microphone? There we go. And look up here and tell everybody who you are. Hello, I am Donna Crossweight, and I am with Northeast Tennessee Kairos Outside. Tell we met you guys at another restaurant here earlier in the week. You're doing a little fundraiser, so uh, for folks who have no clue, tell us what this is all about. What's your organization all about? Okay, Kairos is an international prison ministry that ministers to men and women who are in state and federal prisons all over the world. And Kairos Torch is for juvenile offenders who are in youth treatment facilities. And Kairos Outside is for women who have or have had somebody close to them incarcerated um, or they have been incarcerated themselves. We and put, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, we uh, provide a support system for women who often do time right along with those who are incarcerated. And um, we have a retreat weekend twice a year. It is absolutely free for the ladies who come. And uh, the next one is going to be from Friday, April 28th to April 30th. And we still have openings, so if you would like to come, it is just an, an awesome weekend where uh, you get to meet with other ladies who have an opportunity to share their stories. Uh, so many of them do not have anybody to talk to uh, about it because they feel embarrassed or ashamed to have somebody in prison. And so this gives them the opportunity to um, to share their story with other people who are in the same boat. We're here live again at Chick-fil-A, the crossing of North Johnson City. So it's a chance to give people a second chance. And he hung up on the cross for us. They gave us all a second chance over and over and <laughs> over again. So you're all about getting somebody, you know, everybody makes mistakes. Yes. And everybody deserves a second chance. And this is what this is all about, right? Absolutely. Yes. And um, so tell us geographically, where, what what prisons do you work with the folks well they are all over the world including south africa and australia and south america but we are here in northeast tennessee um anybody can come um you just need to be at least 20 years old and your life has been impacted by incarceration in some way um we have our uh, we don't advertise uh, openly where it's located for confidentiality purposes sure. and privacy sure. however it is in a, a beautiful campground and the ladies get to stay in a lodge for the weekend with uh, no laundry no cleaning no cooking no kids they're uh, pampered. yeah they're pampered and uh, they're actually men on the team who do the cooking and serve so uh, that's so really the cool. Serve the ladies. Yes, they do. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, yeah, and, and they deserve it. So right, and they've uh, had a tough time in trying to get their lives back on track, and so that's what this is all about. And again, mm -hmm. uh, you all do fundraisers, obviously. Now, the money that you raised at the other restaurant in town, which uh, the other restaurant in town, <laughs> tell us, uh, tell us where the money goes to help out. All right, the money goes to pay for the weekends because uh, we have a. Yeah, so 100% of it goes to, to fund the ministry uh, because they're all volunteers. Nobody is paid for their services on the team. However, we try to raise enough money so that we don't even charge the team members, the volunteers, to come. It's an awesome program. Ran across these folks a couple of weeks ago, and I thought, i got to get you guys on the show and promote, promote what you're doing, giving people a second chance uh, with the Lord. And so let's use, uh, without using a real name, let's use... Pick me out a lady that can't, has come to the program, and let's say we're going to call her Betty. And okay. she came, and she's got things turned around as a result. Tell, give me a success story, and we're going to use a fictitious, uh, a real person, but a fictitious name named Betty. Tell me what Betty's done. Okay. Um, well, Betty may have been incarcerated herself. Uh, we've had ladies come who um, have had drug problems. That's probably the biggest thing. We've had a couple who have actually murdered 
somebody that have come and found uh, reconciliation. Um, the typical guest um, has not been incarcerated herself, um, but we they listen to a series of talks, um, very short talks, about 10 minutes, but they're on everything from making choices, uh, feeling isolated from being rejected, um, to the church, um, to anger, forgiveness. Forgiveness is a very big part of Kairos Outside. Oh, and I can give an example of Betty, who was able to forgive her brother for having murdered their parents. Um, that was incredible. I listened uh, just the other day. I listened to a couple of sermons. One by the late Adrian Rogers, one by Charles Stanley about forgiveness, and you know that's the root of a lot of people's problems because mm-hmm. it triggers into bitterness, and bitterness into malice and revenge. So, if you can get over that hump of forgiveness, you're uh, you're well on your way to recovery, no matter who you are and what you what you've mm-hmm. done. So, yeah. again, your first name is Donna. Miss Donna's with us again. It's uh, mm-hmm. it's a neat organization. We're going to have them on again some more in the future. So, uh, there is a website. Tell us how we can get there and and. Where can we find out more information? Okay, kairosoftennessee.org. Um, you can go there and um, click on Kairos Outside and then click on Northeast Tennessee, Kairos Outside. Um, you can also go to mykairos.org and that will give you the map of where there are Kairos Outsides all over the world. Yep. So yep. it's here locally, going strong. This lovely couple's working to make mm-hmm. sure that, uh, from a volunteer standpoint, how many folks help you out? How many volunteers do you have? Oh, we have a lot of volunteers, but we always need many more. I would say we probably have a couple hundred. We take we need 35 or so to put on a weekend. Um, and then we have an advisory council that is made up of about 20 people. And um, people that come out to help with fundraisers and do outreach there's a there's a place for you if you want to volunteer we would love to have you absolutely and again is uh, how do we get a hold of you is there a phone number or I a can website g- i can give my phone number is 423-929-8022 or they can send it uh, an email to netco n-e-t-k-o dot chair at gmail.com Here's the mission statement in closing. It says the mission of the Kairos prison ministry is to share the transforming love and forgiveness. Remember uh, Paul and Saul, or Saul and Paul, and what he did and how the Lord got a hold of him and transformed his life. And the rest, they say, is history. He ended up writing half the New Testament, at least half. Uh, but anyway, share the transforming love and forgiveness of Jesus Christ to impact the hearts and lives of incarcerated men, women, and youth as well as their families to become loving and productive citizens of their communities. Again, uh, this is an awesome organization. Just happened to run into them and ran into your handsome husband. And I said, we're going to get you guys <laughs> on. And so he brings her and says, let her talk because it's yes. about the ladies. And so he passed the buck. You did a great job. Well, thank you. An awesome thank job, you. So. Yes, we would just love for you to come and we'll love on you. Our motto is listen, listen, love, love. There it's, you go. It's a Christian weekend, but we don't preach. We don't teach. We just love on you and show you God's love. And so we'd love to have you. And what did he say? The greatest of these is what? Love. Love. Yes, Got absolutely. It. Well put. Thank you for stopping by here. Well, you're welcome. Thanks yeah. for having us. Oh, yes, we're going to have her on more, too. We're going to take a quick break. Let me show you who's going to be on the show today. Here's our lineup. Tyler Parsons of the Johnson City Cardinals. Greg Salyer for their Major League Baseball update. Dave Angie from the Johnson City Press and more, including Miss Donna. We'll take a break. We'll be right back again. If you want to win tickets to Bristol Motor Speedway, check this out. Go right here on this website or right now, TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. We're about to give you a chance to win tickets. We are 30 days away from the Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300 and also the Auto Zombie 125. It's a double hitter. Our first winner, we pick one every Friday. Our first winner was Jennifer Carr from Elizabeth. And so if you're interested in winning tickets, all you got to do, folks have been qualifying. All we need is your first name, last name. I believe it's they're asking, well, that's the obvious. It's going to ask for your first and last name. Also, the town you're from and how do we get a hold of you if you win, like Jennifer Carr did last week. We'll pick a new winner this coming Friday. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We've got more to talk about. We've got the NBA, Major League Baseball, the NFL, NIT basketball last night, Holly Warlick's on the hot seat in Knoxville, wow. all kinds of sports coming up next year. Live from Chick-fil-A, you're watching, listening to show number 483 mm-hmm. of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. 
At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import and Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best and broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-City's best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. You want to say thanks to Miss Donna coming by again, Miss Donna Crossway. That was a good report about Cairo, so we're going to have her on more. And that's uh, we do appreciate her coming and and uh, telling a little bit about the organization. That's what it's all about. As I said, I dedicate this show unashamedly to the man I hung on the cross. Without him, I can't speak for you. Well, I can't speak for you without you, without you, and with, or without him, I am nothing. And without him, you are nothing. And the one hundred thousand dollar question, folks. And of course, this is a sports show, but. There's only one question you have to answer. What are you going to do with Jesus? And I was reading out of Habakkuk the other night. There's two types of people. People that trust him, people that trust themselves, and want to trust themselves. Generally speaking, and I'm living proof of that over the years, it just doesn't, doesn't go good. So the quicker you learn to trust him, the better off you're going to be. And so good stuff. We do appreciate her coming by, her and her handsome husband, uh, Ms. Donna Crossway, and his name is Captain Steve. There you go. We appreciate them very much. Let's take a look again at Food City Midnight Madness. We're going to be there on Friday in Elizabethan. Let's tell you some of the specials. If you're getting ready to save up, woo, 
Mayfield ice cream. Brown cows fudge bars, limit four for $1.49 on Friday. Also, jumbo baking potatoes, a eight pound bag, $2.99 coming up on Friday. We'll be at Food City in Elizabethan. If you're a Pepsi drinker, Pepsi products, 24 pack of 12 ounce cans Friday only at all Food Cities. It'll be two for $10. We'll be this week at Food City in Elizabethan. If you like soup, Campbell's home style, home style soup, 89 cents a can, limit six. And also coming up on Friday at all Food Cities, uh, let's see. There's so many different specials. Let's see. Armor Vienna Sausage. Woo. Growing up in West Virginia, I ate a lot of Armor Vienna Sausage as a kid. Six-pack, two for $5. And also Nature's Own Butter Buns for hamburger hot dogs. Could grill an out season right around the corner. Day like today would be a good one, as a matter of fact. Anyway, it's limit four. Eight-pack for $1.49. Limit four. All this and more coming up on Friday at your local food city. Again, we'll be at Food City in, uh, in Elizabeth. It's the Tom Taylor Sports Show again. We thank you for being with us. On this Wednesday, we're here live again at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. We'll tell you all about the salads coming up here in just a second. Before we get into the sports, I want to remind you about the first annual St. Jude's Benefit Golf Tournament coming up. That's going to be uh, May the 7th at the Country Club in Bristol. You would want to be sure and be a part of that. Again, uh, May the 7th. Lunch by Texas Roadhouse. Again, it's being put on by the Gold Wing Riders Association, Tri-Cities, Tennessee Chapter C. It's a new location and a new date. They're going to do it on a Sunday. Country Club in Bristol, Finding Cures and Saving Children. It's the 18th Annual St. Jude's Benefit Golf Tournament at the Country Club in Bristol. I think I read someplace where it's one of the oldest country clubs in the state. Maybe the, maybe the oldest country club in the state. i got to double check on that. Anyway, it's a great place. They're going to roll out the red carpet. If you'd like to play, uh, you need to call Tom Jane at 323-2239. 323-2239 is the number to call. Find out more about that. Last night, NIT men's basketball. Let's run down the scores for you. It was the Richmond Spiders all over Texas Christian, 86-68. Also last night, Georgia Tech went into Oxford, Mississippi and beat the Ole Miss Rebels 74-66. That happened again last night in the men's NIT. So the brackets are set, and the brackets are as follows. California Bakersfield and Texas, University of Texas Arlington. Also, you've got uh, TCU, as we said, moves on, and Georgia Tech moves on into the semifinals. So the other side of the bracket, Central Florida, taking on the Fighting Illini of Illinois. And the other side of the bracket will be, as we said, California Bakersfield and University of Texas at Arlington. Those two winners move into the semifinals as well. So Georgia Tech and TCU have punched their ticket to move on as it was a win last night by Texas Christian over the Richmond Spiders, 86-68. It's so TCU and Georgia Tech into the semifinals of the NIT tournament. And, of course, that's going on right along with March Madness. It's the Tom Douglas Sports Show. The lovely Connie Larimer is here today. She has helped us get back on the air and ready to roll, and we certainly appreciate that. And we're going to be talking, I think, to some of the youngsters coming up here in a few minutes from Chick-fil-A, although it's stacked up and packed up in here. And so uh, Chick-fil-A, the Cobb salad, that's one of the ones you want to showcase and we want to feature. Uh, it is Chick-fil-A nuggets. Pressure cooked, sliced, and served hot on a fresh bed of chopped romaine lettuce and baby greens, topped with shredded red cabbage and carrots, roasted corn kernels, a blend of shredded Monterey Jack and cheddar cheeses, crumbled bacon, diced eggs, and grape tomatoes made fresh every day, served with charred tomato crispy red bell peppers and avocado lime ranch dressing. And again, the calories, it's only 500 calories, so if you are weight watching and swimming season's right around the corner, want to make sure you get into that bathing suit, or you just want to eat healthier, you've got one of the choices is a Cobb salad here at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. Tom Taylor Sports Show again. Thanks for being with us. We've got oodles of things to cover, including high school baseball from yesterday. The Elizabethan Cyclones team recovering here on Facebook Live has just went to 3-1 and one of the season. Got a big win last night on the road at Sullivan North. And so we'll take a break, run down when we come back, run down all the high school sports, basketball, basketball, baseball, softball, and soccer. We'll do that right after you hear this. We're on the road at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. Back after this on Facebook Live, it's show number 483 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. 
It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. The deals are heating up for Truck Month at Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. Over 300 new Chevys to choose from, all with incredible savings. 11000 off MSRP on 16 Silverado All-Star Crew Cabs. Check out the savings online at championjc.com. 16 Silverado Crew Cab, 33,685. 16 Track, 17,460. 16 Equinox, 21,615. 16 Traverse, 27,365. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. Back on the Tom Teller Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. We're live here at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City, where it's almost lunchtime. Uh, crowd is in here. Of course, drive through is hopping, but they get you and get you out and get you right on down the road. Doesn't take long. Day number two of Tennessee football practice. Again, Butch Jones and the volunteers, again, practicing yesterday, day number one. And so we will have him on tomorrow and let you hear what he's got to say about practice so far for the Tennessee football team. Let's run down yesterday how things went in high school baseball. First off, the Elizabethan Cyclones run their record to 9-2 and two on the season. They get a big win on the road at Sullivan, uh, at Sullivan North, 9-2. to two. Cyclones 3-1. and one. Our next broadcast coming up Friday night when they will be hosting the Volunteer Falcons at O'Brien Field in Elizabethan. Also, yesterday, Science Hill doubles up Crockett 4-2. to two. It was Dobbins minute over Daniel Boone 7-3. to three. Tennessee High all over Volunteer 10-0. Also, you have Unicoi County all over Johnson County. Final there was 10 to nothing. Also, you have Sullivan East defeating Sullivan South, 4-1 in baseball. University High, 3, North Green, 1. Unica beats the South Green Lady Rebels, 7-2. Hamptons, I'm sorry, that was boys. Let me back up. University High beat North Green, 3-1. Unica beat the South Green Boys, 7-2. Hampton over Cloudland, 12-3 in a Carter County matchup. And Providence Academy defeated Asheville Christian, 7-3. Also in high school baseball. Today, Science Hill plays at Sullivan Central. Crockett's in Johnson City at University High. Softball from yesterday. Daniel Boone's Lady Trailblazers beat Science Hill 7-4. to 
You have Dobbins Bennett all over Sullivan Central's Lady Cougars 12 to 2. Elizabeth and Lady Cyclones on the road for Coach Harden and beat Unicoi County in Irwin 5 to 3, which is not an easy thing to do. You have Sullivan North defeating Happy Valley, doubled them up in softball 8 to 4. Sullivan East beat Sullivan South 6 to 4 in girls high school softball. University High blanks Cloudland 9 to nothing. Today, it's North at Elizabeth and Daniel Boone at Happy Valley. Soccer from yesterday, Dobbins Minute defeated Daniel Boone 9 to 2. Providence Academy over Central Central Virginia. The final there was nine to nothing, and that is your baseball from yesterday in high school and softball and soccer. Major League Baseball winners yesterday. It was the Pirates over here, or I should say the Pirates, Houston, Toronto, the Phillies, Washington, Milwaukee, Boston, San Francisco, and Arizona all get wins. And guess who lost again? Yeah, Reds got beat nine to one. Reds are uh, what 12 and 13, doing better than I thought. But they get beat by the Angels yesterday, 9-1. to one. We're going to be talking to Greg Salyer coming up at the top of the hour about Major League Baseball and what all is going on there. Tyler Parsons from the Johnson City Cardinals due to join us coming up here in just a few minutes. We're live here at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. As we told you earlier, college basketball, it was Richmond and Texas Christian TCU eliminating the Richmond Spiders, 86-68. And Georgia Tech goes into Oxford and defeats Ole Miss last night in the NIT, 74-66. NBA winners last night, Brooklyn, Miami, the Clippers, Toronto, New Orleans, and Milwaukee. And my Spurs win. There's Danny Birchfield, 100-93 over the Minnesota Timberwolves and a big win last night for my boys, the San Antonio Spurs. And so coming up tonight, You've got games this evening. You have Charlotte at Orlando, Indiana taking on the Celtics in Boston, Atlanta at Washington, Detroit at Chicago, Philadelphia takes on Oklahoma City and Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City. The man who's putting in all these triple-double games, the world champion Cleveland Cavaliers will be in Denver. You also have Milwaukee at Sacramento and the New York Knickerbockers in Utah to battle the Jazz. All that coming up tonight in the NBA. In the National Hockey League, teams that have Punch their ticket out of the playoffs include the Chicago Blackhawks, the Washington Capitals, and the Columbus Blue Jackets. As we told you yesterday, the finals and the winners. Tonight, you've got three skating on the ice. Toronto skates in Columbus against the Blue Jackets. It's the New York Islanders skating against the New York Rangers. And also Edmonton, the Oilers, and Anaheim to skate against the Ducks. And that's coming up tonight again in the, uh, in the National Hockey League. How about this? If you get a chance, please take this in. Coming up on Saturday... A birthday celebration for a classic guy. In fact, he's in here a lot. I don't see him today, but former Daniel Boone coach Bobby Snyder. They're having a birthday celebration, his 80th birthday celebration at Oak Grove Baptist Church in Gray coming up on Saturday from 2 to 5. The family giving the party, inviting the public. It's on Oak Grove Road in the Gray community. So if you get a chance, stop by and say happy birthday to a class act. The 80th birthday for Bobby Snyder, legendary coach at Daniel Boone, coming up this Saturday from 2 to 5 at Oak Grove Baptist Church in Gray here in the Tri-City. So uh, neat stuff, and he's a class act, and he's in here a lot. In fact, he's normally here on Wednesdays. I get here to sit up for the show and did not uh, did not see him. So good stuff, and we appreciate him very, very much. But didn't see him here today, but he's, uh, again, he's top shelf in my book. And he's having a birthday celebration this Saturday at Oak Grove Baptist Church, Oak Grove Road in Gray from 2 until 5 o'clock. It's the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Again, thanks for being with us. We are here live at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City on this Wednesday. Don't forget, coming up uh, April the 1st, the Deer Slayer Obstacle Course Race. Coming up April the 1st, again, at Wing Deer Park in Johnson City, being put on with the Johnson City Senior Center Foundation. It is a fundraiser. Again, April the 1st. Again, go to the website at jcdeerslayer.net. We're going to have some folks on about this tomorrow or Friday. One of the see Carmichael's with us tomorrow, and then we'll have on Friday, we'll be at Food City in Elizabeth. And I think the gentleman's going to come by there tomorrow, or rather Friday, to talk about this race coming up again on April the 1st. It's the Johnson City Senior Center Foundation Deer Slayer Obstacle Course, Obstacle Course Race. Say that fast three times. It's going to be happening again at Wing Deer Park here in, uh, here in Johnson City. Tom Taylor Sports Show again. We appreciate you very much being with us. One of our great sponsors, the man we simply call Gator at Cherokee Barbershop in South Johnson City. When the barber pole's out, the Gator man's in. He's there today, and he is cutting men's and little boys' hair. It's an old-timey men's barbershop in South Johnson City, right down from Tipton Haynes Working Farm. Again, in the Executive Park South Complex. Again, when... 
the barber pole's out, the gator man's in. Haircuts are free. How about that? Haircuts are free. Cost you uh, 11 to get a cup of coffee or get a cup to put coffee in it. Get a cup. Cost you 11 bucks. You get to keep the cup. But again, the haircut itself is free. Again, that is uh, every day, Tuesday through Saturday. Again, at Cherokee Barbershop in South Johnson City there in Executive Park South. Easy to find. Just look for the barber pole, and he's there and ready to go. And so haircuts are free. A cup of coffee costs you 11 bucks. You get to keep the cup. And he also cuts little people's hair. And so uh, he puts them on that little booster seat, and away he goes. So lots of sports memorabilia, ETSU, Milligan, uh, all kinds of stuff being discussed there. The show's on in there. You hear the show. And we always appreciate the Gator Man again at Cherokee Barbershop in South Johnson City. We'll take a break. We'll continue on again. We are live here at Chick-fil-A on a Wednesday. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Again, Tyler Parsons from the Johnson City Cardinals due to join us coming up. We'll be right back with more. Also, top of the hour, Greg Salyer with our Major League Baseball update. All that and more straight ahead here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, show number 483 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show on Facebook Live. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. The deals are heating up for Truck Month at Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. Over 300 new Chevys to choose from, all with incredible savings. 11000 off MSRP on 16 Silverado All-Star Crew Cabs. Check out the savings online at championjc.com. 16 Silverado Crew Cab, 33685, 16 Track, 17460, 16 Equinox, 21615, 16 Traverse, 27365. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now, some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import and Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Back again on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. We're live here at Chick-fil-A in the crossings in North Johnson City. Guess who's here? You know, it's really funny. He shows up. <laughs> Connie's over taking pictures left and right. But she's, 
I'm here every week. She only know my name. It's like Tim. Hey Tim, how you doing? I say, Hey, Larry. Larry, how you doing? No, no I love Connie. She's awesome. She she's is. A, she's, a, oh, she's a great person. She's a class act. But anyway, so Tyler shows up. She stops mentioning. Goes, Tyler's here. <laughs> okay, so good. <laughs> That's what I love it. Tyler Parson, the general manager of the Johnson City Cardinals in the house. Stopping by for a few minutes. Yes, and Thanks for having me. Yes, it's always, always great to be here. So. You like the new camera? So good? I do. I like it. Yeah, this is a good setup camera. now. Yeah, I mean, for, makes me look good in HD now and everything. We're on so. HD, yeah. So. I should have I shaved them out better now. It's <laughs> you know, all the hairs I, I have there. So. I see where he missed her this morning. Yeah. <laughs> last time I saw Tyler, his side of his head was swelled up. He had, had some uh, dental situations over Morgan's Investors Group, but he's back and ready to roll, and gosh, we're getting ever so closer. We were checking the standings. The big club second in the bigs right now behind Pittsburgh in spring training. You're in the organization. How much weight do they put on spring training with the big club? Uh, I, you know, obviously, spring training is you know, you're always looking to develop, but I think one thing you know, I've learned from, from always you know dealing with St. Louis is you know, they, they value winning in anything, you know, all the way from our minor league levels all the way up to, to the big league club, so you know, spring training and them being successful, that, that is a, a byproduct of what they're trying to do down there. And uh, I just got back probably about four or five days ago from down there in spring training. You can definitely feel a, a buzz with that team. I think the, the addition of Dexter Fowler has done a lot for that locker room, and they've got a lot of really good young talent right now that, that's coming up that was in John City or was in State College the last couple of years that you're starting to see it go, hey, these guys are 17, 18 years old now. Now they're getting to be that 19, 20, 21 where you're starting to see them develop physically, and it's matching what they knew before. Um, it, it's crazy. I mean, we're talking about a guy named you know Paul DeJong who was here with us in 2015, came from Illinois State, third baseman. They got him playing some shortstop now, but you know, he played with us in 2015 in rookie ball, and he, he might make the big league club this year uh, as a full-time player there for him because how much he's developed in his talent, and he has the, uh, the ability to just hit a baseball and hit it well and hit it far. <laughs> <laughs> hit it well. Hit it far. There you go. Them long balls. Yeah. You were talking to Tyler Parsons. You know, I'm with you because I, some of the folks I've talked to say, ah, spring training doesn't matter. So I was raised, I'm wired differently. If I go out there, if it's a pickup, I'm, I'm out there to get a win. Yeah. I'm out there just lollygagging around. So the Cardinals take it very serious, and it's indicative of the fact that they're currently behind the Pirates, only the only team they're behind in the spring training, uh, spring training standing. So psychologically, I would think if you're – now let's see who's the bottom rung right now. Who's the bottom team? You know, if you're sitting there going, ah, it's Hopefully okay. the Cubs, right? It'd be tr- no. <laughs> it would be the Atlanta Braves. Rock bottom dead last. Well, or, that's, uh, that's tough to say around these parts, you know. Yes, but they are. They're 6-18, and, <laughs> and Toronto's last place in the American League. So, psychologically, I would think these guys are competitors. It does have an impact. You pick up the paper it and does. see that you're last. It's, it's a culture. That's what they you always hear. When you hear the St. Louis Cardinals, you always hear something about something called the Cardinal Way. And, People always ask me, what is the Cardinal way? And it's just their culture. You know, that's how they develop their players, develop their coaches and their staff members to say, hey, you know, winning's important to us. That's always going to be important no matter what. It's not always going to be the most important goal with certain things, but winning should be a byproduct of what we're doing. That is a byproduct of the Cardinal way, and that, that goes all the way through uh, what we have with, with the Cardinals in our system, too, and you know, how much they focus on making playoffs and how they talk to their coaches, talk to the players, and they, want, they, they love winning in the minor leagues. You know why? The guy wins in the minor leagues. He's going to get used to winning. Sure. When he gets to that big league club, and he's not, then they're not winning. That's going to be a problem to him. Well put. Winning is a habit. So is losing. It's Absolutely. Habit. We're talking to Tyler Parsons, the general manager of the John City Cardinals. Look up there and wave at everybody. There's our camera. <laughs> uh, handsome rascal. Got him a beard. And, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I love this guy. I've just met him about a month ago. He is hilarious. He's a cool guy to be around. Works hard. He and the staff. And so. Uh, we were talking off mic during the break about Rick Ann Keel. That's, yeah. Uh, they're doing a little feature on him. It's going Part of that's going to showcase Johnson City. Tell me about it that. It is. I guess it, uh, it aired last night. I haven't had a chance to see it because it aired pretty late, and I didn't get home until a little bit later. But uh, um, HBO Real Sports did a special on Rick Ann Keel. Uh, his situation he had with the Yips, you know, going back to 2001. You know, Rick Ann Keel won Rookie of the Year. Uh, ends up having the yips, just, you know, has that, that problem where he couldn't control his pitches anymore. He goes from the big league club, gets sent all the way down to Johnson City in 2001, really to kind of get his confidence back, get him refocused, and uh, you still hear stories people telling about that when he got here. I mean, you figure the equivalent of a player of that caliber getting sent down to rookie ball and that type of prospect. I tell people that would have been like, at that time, that would have been like Bryce Harper getting sent down after his rookie year to mm-hmm. rookie ball. You know, obviously Ricky and Keel never developed as a pitcher after that a little bit, but made it back to the big leagues as an outfielder, which shows you what kind of athlete he was. But um, it was crazy. We uh, 
we talked to HBO Real Sports, and I guess there were some really good highlights in there for Johnson City, but he was here in 2001, and he won Pitcher of the Year that year in Johnson City with the Appalachian League, but he was also an all-star as a pitcher and the designated hitter. I think he's one of only a handful of players in the history of Appalachian to ever win an all-star appearance as multiple positions. And uh, it's funny, you read some stories back then, and it's kind of a footnote in that his catcher that year was Yadier Molina. And it was kind of like a footnote, like here's Ricky and Keel thrown to this, this you know, <laughs> catching prospect guy. And you think about that, how he was just kind of a little footnote in those stories, and now what Yadier Molina has become, obviously. So it's, uh, it's a very, very cool story. We're actually going to do a Ricky and Keel jersey shirt giveaway this year, and we're hoping to get him back to the ballpark to do a, a player appearance and all that kind of stuff awesome. and uh, have him sign some autographs and then you know, come back to where it started. So We're talking to our buddy Tyler Parsons. These guys are on the cutting edge, always coming up with stuff cool. Let me say hello to Joel Ragsdale, mm-hmm. Steve McCauley, also, Scott Morgan and Andrew Stutzman, and also the John City Cardinals and Colin Brooks, our buddy Colin, big Colin. We appreciate all you guys and Brandon Keene for uh, watching us here so far today. That's just Absolutely. the one Facebook page. There's other ones, and I don't know how to get to the other ones, but I'm, they're learning me. The social media folks at Appalachian Digital trying to show an old country boy how to. <laughs> he said, we want you to be able to interact. So when they say, hey, Tom, I'm going to be able to go by and go, hey, whoever. So I'm a learning. I'm a <laughs> You know, it's I'm an eight eight track guy in MP3 world, but I'm learning. <laughs> We're talking to Tyler Parsons. I know yesterday was the first time the Hilltoppers signed, so yep. we got a chance to get on the ballpark, the new field, and uh, everything I've been told got rave reviews about the new ballpark. Absolutely, and I think you know from talking to to Coach Edwards over there and some of their players and staff, and uh, it's it's a great opportunity for us. And as I've told people, because we get a chance with them playing on it, really to to get a chance to to see how it plays and, and get some opinions before our guys even get here and. Uh, Everything Coach Edwards has told me so far is that it's playing great. Awesome. When you have a turf, you're going to get a true bounce everywhere. You don't have to worry about any alterations or anything like that. So um, he's in my same boat as far as not having to pull tarp and just the maintenance time they're saving. So it's uh, it's been great. And we're, uh, we're looking right now at some more major innovations here at that facility in the next year or two that's going to continue to enhance that. Now, and I don't, I don't mind saying, but I think you know, doing full turf field here is probably going to happen within the next year just to get it done, get it taken care of, and then. Yeah, they'll give us a great ballpark. We'll give Science Hill one of the best facilities, you know, high school facilities, right in the entire country. Oh, absolutely. Plus, it opens up opportunity for Johnson City as far as the chamber and the CBB absolutely. to uh, use that as a as a field for tournaments and games to, you know, and I say this all the time, and I guess it sounds syrupy and sappy, but our high school kids here locally have an advantage. A lot of kids around the country don't by virtue of playing on big league ballparks. Yep. Elizabeth, and we do the games over there on the Bryan Field where the Twins play. Science Hill plays, of course, where the Cardinals play. Gate City uses Hunter Wright Stadium where the Mets play. I think Virginia High uses the Vault Stadium where the Pirates play. Yes, sir. And I think Greenville and some of the Green County teams use Astro Park and Greenville. So, yep. you know, it's quality of life. And these kids, you know, you could, they can say after they graduate and move on, get married, and so on, say, hey, back in the day, I got a chance to play in a big league ballpark. A lot of places around the country, they can't say that. Yeah, if I had a bell right here, I'd ring it right now. So, uh, <laughs> dead, <laughs> Hit it. I mean, there that's it. it's dead on. And we, we talk about, you know, our main duty as a minor league baseball team is to promote baseball in the community. And what better way than to have local youth come out there and play on that facility and take that experience in and, you know, have that moment. I mean, it's definitely unique. And, you know, Science Hill, not only from the baseball field, but they have their own locker room during the entire season. It's right there on site. They have their own in hidden. They use our hitting cages. They have ice machines. They have all the equipment that's available to them to use right there on site. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a built-in advantage to them, but I think it's, it's well-deserved and it's what it's there for. Weather like today, does it get you revved up? I mean, beautiful day like today. Sun's out, a little bit of a breeze, but it's warming up. Spring's officially here on the calendar, and it tells you that Cardinals are coming soon. Does that get you kind of revved up? It does, and it gets our fans revved up. Sure. Our phone's been ringing off the hook today over at the office, and uh, I'm glad we finally got some warm weather. So I got back from spring training last week. I was I was walking on the beach in 80-degree weather, and I got back to Tennessee, and it was 19 degrees. And I'm like, <laughs> what the heck is going on here, you know? And uh, it's good to see some, some baseball weather here, and, you know, it's uh, – you know, it's officially springtime, officially baseball season, and it's exciting to see how uh, when the weather changes, how people's mindset starts going. And uh, three about three months for us till opening day. It's going to be yeah. crazy. About 90 so, days out. It'll be here before you know it. I looked up today, and nobody wants to know this, but we're about 277 days to Christmas. <laughs> nobody wants to know that. No way I don't want to know that. No, one. It's not, a shut up, Not why it's all warm out, you know? <laughs> yeah, be quiet, Tom. <laughs> yeah. By the way, happy birthday today to one of the legends. Bob Costas having a birthday right. today, legendary broadcaster. He is 65 years old today. How about that? So, hey, starting next week, we're going to be able to uh, 
we're going to by, by virtue of a new mechanism we're, we're getting that we're going to be able to take uh, we're going to be able to call out and talk to folks and we're right. looking very excited about that and, and we always like for Tyler to come by but if he yeah. can't then he can talk to us <laughs> over the phone but it's more fun to have him out because he's a he's a really cool guy and yeah. his staff works hard let's uh, let's brag on the staff who's over there helping you with the Cardinals yeah we got uh, Adam Grigsby over there right now and we got uh, our new guy Trey Gilreath we just got him uh, probably about two weeks ago from over there at, uh, at ETSU was working with ETSU Athletics uh, been a great addition to our staff former catcher over at uh, Sullivan East and played at Virginia Intermont uh we're gonna find out. We'll, we'll, I told him we'll put him. Uh, we'll put him behind the plate once our guys get here, and we'll see if he really can hit a fastball. Uh, yeah. He's been hyping himself up a little bit. So uh, he's been talking a little. Talking. He's been talking a little bit. So, but right. yeah, you gotta tell people some of these guys. You know, you get that gap a little bit there in talent level. But uh, he he had a pretty good stats as a senior, and he's a, he's a good athlete. So I'm, I'm sure he'll get a shot at it. But it's uh, so it's great to bring a local kid that has some baseball connections there and. You know, obviously, it's not a prerequisite to, to be a great baseball player to, to work in baseball, but it's good to understand the game and, and know that. So, but uh, you know, those guys are great. And uh, if you don't mind me, Red, just uh, I know it uh, sounds like Steve McCauley was on the air. We're excited. We just finalized a, a partnership right now with City. Um, they're going to be our corporate partner on our Tennessee Pride jerseys. We were every Tuesday this year, and our nonprofit partner for that is going to be the FCA. Awesome. Um, it's going to be on all the jerseys, and after the season. All the jerseys will be auctioned off, and all those proceeds are going to go to the FCA. And it's going to go to the FCA Flames. They have a, a local youth baseball team. All that money is going to go straight to them to help them pay for the, their cost and their other maintenance. So it's uh, we're really excited about that, and couldn't couldn't pick a, a better partner for it, really. I told you he was a good guy. He's helping out the FCA, the Fellowship <laughs> of Christian Athletes. That's awesome because that's a great group, and they do have a team, the FCA Flames, a, a local team that that uh, competes and participates, and that's that's great stuff. And so, uh, if you want to get involved in a, a Obviously, a very aggressive and exciting baseball franchise, the Johnson City Cardinals. You have corporate nights and ticket sales. Tell me about Absolutely. that right now. Yeah, I mean, for us right now, uh, you know, our, our local community support right now has been amazing. Uh, we keep growing, we keep developing, we keep finding unique partnerships to get communities involved and tie their brand to our experience there at the ballpark. So, um, you know, right now for us, it's a lot of crazy stuff happening with, uh, you know, our, our young professional style crowds we have out there. Um, you know, obviously we're going to continue to grow our, our beer market and make it a, a really social experience out there for everyone where, you know, you don't, there's a baseball game going on, absolutely, but if you want to come out there and socialize and hang out, we're still going to have a good time. So we're going to do some, you know, crazy fun promotions, uh, you know, all the typical minor league baseball stuff you see. So that's the uh, the fun stuff. And, uh, of course, we've been fortunate. We've had a pretty darn good product on the field lately, too. So Absolutely. Uh, and one of the aspects they always like to promote are the obvious, the future uh, mm -hmm. grown-ups are the kids. You guys do a lot of things for the kids out there. I know you got a souvenir store for, uh, you know, you go some places and there's clothes. You know, they don't have clothes for kids, merchandise. Yep. Uh, for the Cardinals, they do. And so you guys build a lot of promotions during the course of the game and the season for the little people. Tell me about that. We do. Uh, obviously, one of our most popular programs we have is our Field of Dreams program. Uh, we, we offer that to local little leagues around here. They get a chance to come out to the game. We give them all a baseball. They come down the field, get to meet the players, get them autographed, all that kind of stuff. And then they run out there with their prospective position out there. So. <laughs> I didn't either. If you find it, you tell me. <laughs> I, I, a nightcrawler about that big. If you can hook him, you let me know. What's your first name? Buddy, you find that big fish, you come back and tell me. In fact, you bring the big fish and lay it right here on the yeah. table. We can bring him. Would you go show? Would you take him fishing, Dale Jr.? Would you wait his hook for him? I would if he can't. Stays in the wall too much. That's good. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. You have a great day. Yes, sir. It's good. I mean, this is live radio, right? Live radio. There you go. <laughs> live on the Facebook. One just never knows. Exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. Come up here. Two weeks ago, I'm sitting there. I don't know him from Adam's house cat. He said, you need a haircut. Turn around and walked off. I don't know who he was. So. <laughs> oh, well. By the way, let me plug it again one more time. I'll do this once a week at least. Growing the hair for Pantene. Again, it's called Beautiful uh, Links. Mm -hmm. And when it gets to the right length, it'll cut it off, and we'll send it off, or they'll send it off to help make wigs for cancer patients. That's awesome. Going through radiation or chemo, so. <laughs> but he said <laughs> he's out trying to catch the big fish today. Yes. I hope 
for his sake, he catches it. So. I hope so, too. It'd be, uh, you know. And bring it over here and just lay it here on the table. Exactly. We could make some you know, fish sandwiches or something out of it, you know. Yeah, Connie wouldn't care. Yeah. She'd say, hey, bring in a live fish or a dead fish and lay it on the table. Don't know who this gentleman was, but he came by and so said he tried to catch a fish. You were talking about corporate nights and tickets. Yeah. What about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, just obviously for our different corporate partners. And I think we were talking about, uh, you know, having uh, our stuff for kids. You know, the Field of Dreams program is great, but we... One of the things we, we, we take the most you know, pride into is being able to have those youth out there, and especially youth baseball players, to come out there and connect with our guys because you know, all of our guys are obviously paid professionals now. But at one point in time, they were these kids. You know, they were down there. Sure. They were looking up to these you know, big league ball players at one point in time. And uh, you, you get funny stories. I had a parent one day email me and say, hey, uh, you know, I took my kid out there once, and we did the Field of Dreams program and all that kind of thing. And you guys always talk about you never know who it's going to be. And he goes, you're, you're right. My kid came out there, met a player. They went out to the field together, talked, signed autographs, took some pictures and all that kind of stuff. He got, you know, autographed baseball and everything. It was Matt Adams. He's now been with the St. Louis Cardinals for about seven or eight years now. And that was the guy he had just happened to meet with. And still, you know, he'd he tweet at Matt Adams as a kid. And Matt would, you know, get back to him a little bit and stuff. And he developed those kind of connections. So it is kind of cool. Got to tell you a great story when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Back in Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. The AAA affiliate of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah. A guy by the name of Dave Parker came through. Okay. okay. Yep. Phenom on his way up. Yep. Heck of a career. Had those little league Louisville Slugger little giveaway bats mm -hmm. about this big. Okay. All those little tiny bats. I stand in line for my little brother, who I thought liked Dave Parker. <laughs> and so I stood in line, let him sign it with a pen. He didn't sign it with Sharpie with a pen. Got home. Never. This was a good story. He was, uh, I was probably 12, 13, 14 years old. My dad said, go down and stand in line, get your little brother bat. Okay. Autograph Dave Parker. Okay. Get home, <laughs> took it in. We're sharing the bedroom together. I said, hey, brought you home a Dave Parker autograph bat. Stood out there for an hour to get it. He went, spit on it. Wife thought, says, I hate Dave Parker. <laughs> so I said, oh, well, who do you like? He said, I like the Oakland A's. I said, okay. So I just <laughs> shut the bedroom door. And we took care of things. That was, that was the last time he ever got him an autograph. Probably, that was the right? last time. And he walked out of there. He had several pump knots on his head because I shut the door. <laughs> and to use a biblical term, there was weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. And I beat the dog out of him. I said, you, I sat there and stood in line for that autograph. And you wiped it off. I said, I don't even like Dave Parker. And I'm thinking, <laughs> but my point of that is, that's the kind of things you do at John City Cardinal Ballpark. Because the, the players like to interact with the with the fans, right? They do, and sure. this level right here, because of our access we have at the stadium, too, where it's just so close to our fans. I mean, it, it really is cool to see, and you hear the stories about our, our fans going to other minor league ballparks, and it's just that, that connection to the players is so much more divided. Um, but here, I mean, we got guys that walk out to the game, and they'll, they'll fist bump our fans through the netting right there because it's right there. Um, and having access to that, it really is a, it's a cool ballpark to have that be so close to the action and have that personal connection with the players because, you know, they, they love being here, uh, and this is the first step in their journey, and, you know, the fans are the re part of the reason that they're here. They, they, the fans are there. They're sure. loud. That stadium's packed. There's more energy there. There's more energy in our bats and more energy with our team. So it's all a byproduct of everything we do there. Feeding off the energy. Season tickets are on sale? Season tickets are on sale right now. Uh, $100 for general admission, 135 for our box seats. We have about six box seats left right now. That's about it. So we've been turning through those things wow, everywhere. That's awesome. um, it, it's been great, and uh, you know we keep selling more and more stuff out there. And it's been uh, it's a good thing for us. If we keep getting more people to buy tickets, we have to keep analyzing ways we're going to keep improving that stadium. And that's what we're really doing right now. Website is website is jccardinals.com. So you can order your tickets right there as well, and uh, all of our stuffs online. Uh, Miracles to keep this team from losing 100 games this year. <laughs> I mean, that, that's how bad they're going to be. Um, that this team has used 84 <laughs> different players in the past two seasons. Okay, oh. 84 different players in the past two seasons have played for the Padres. So it's like a revolving door. It is. Who's on first? Literally, that will happen, Costello. Who's on first? <laughs> 84 players. You're talking. You're projecting a 100 loss season. So who, in your humble opinion, is going to be the worst team in Major League Baseball across the board? Will it be the Twins again? Will it be the Padres? Who do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be the Padres. Wow. Isn't that encouraging? <laughs> For you Padre fans out there, Mr. Salyer said it's going to be a long year. Wow. All right. Yeah, so. My Reds may give them a run for their money, but, <laughs> you know, I, I have a feeling it'll be the Padres. Well, the Reds are not the worst team right now in spring training. If that matters, it is the Atlanta Braves having the worst record in the National League right now. 
Let him take a break for just a second. Catch his breath right here on the screen. We want you to qualify, and you have been, to win tickets to the double hitter coming up. We are 30 days out from the Fitzgerald Gliders uh, Auto Kit 300 and also the Auto Zombie 125. It's a double hitter coming up on Saturday, April the 22nd. Simply go to TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest and you'll be entered to win. First name, last name, city you're from, and your email address, all we want. And then our first winner, we'll give it away on Friday. Our first winner was right there, Jennifer Carr of Elizabethan. She won a family four-pack of tickets, so all you've got to do is, again, go back to this website, TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest, and there we be. So good luck to you. Put your name in there, and once it's in, we're giving away five different family four-packs. First one was last Friday. got four more to give away. Once your name is in, it stays in for the duration of the uh, of the promotion, the contest. We're talking to Greg Salyer, again, with Major League Baseball. So, yeah, we've got to let you squeeze in talking about the Reds, uh, how they've been doing since this time last week. Well, um, <laughs> they've played about even as far as their, their games go. They've <laughs> played about 500. Uh, I think the record's now 12 and 13. It is. And they um, – they got blown out yesterday by the Angels. Angels. Nine to one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the good thing was Cody Reed pitched well. I think that's the only thing that you can take from a nine to one loss and say uh, was good. Because, but the bullpen must have been absolutely horrific. I did not see this game. Uh, I haven't read a whole lot about it. But Cody Reed went five innings yesterday and gave up one hit. So um, that was that was huge. Uh, I think they're looking for Cody Reed to uh, perhaps be in that rotation this year. They're giving him every opportunity. Uh, last year, he didn't show us anything. He he came up, he throws hard, he's got the stuff. Everybody talks about how he, he is uh, going to be a phenomenal major league pitcher. Uh, his problem is when he misses, he misses right down the middle of the plate. When he misses a spot, he's not missing outside or inside. He's missing right down the middle of the plate, and he gave up a lot of long balls last year. So hopefully... Cody Reed can figure that out, and and that comes for, a lot of that's going to come from coaching, I think. I think when he when he uh, gets there and he actually, I mean, he he was 0 and 7 last year uh, at an enormous ERA. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but uh, hopefully he's going to turn that around. He's probably going to be in that rotation at least for the beginning of the season, and he may be there the whole time. The Reds have named Scott Feldman their opening day starter. Uh, the interesting thing about that. <laughs> was they had a, a poll online for the fans to say, okay, who do you think should be the opening day starter for the Reds? Mario Soto. <laughs> oh, I would love for Mario Soto to be able to start opening day for the Reds this year. Um, 91, per, 90, 91 or 92% of the, the votes cast said Brandon Finnegan should be the opening day starter. Uh, Scott Feldman got the other 8 or 9% of the votes and Reds came out and said, "Yeah, he's going to be our guy." So we, we do a live spill every uh, Saturday night on WKRC in Cincinnati, the talk station, riding away with Dave, the uh, the oldies show every Saturday night. And so last week we started talking about the Reds, and so Dave said, "Tom, you got anybody down there? Can you come up here?" So we'll put you in uniform, and, and we'll <laughs> we need some pitching. So we need some arms. I said, "I got a guy named Salyer can pitch." As I can come up and give you about <laughs> three or four pitches. But he said the Reds, uh, apparently they're getting burned up pretty good in the Cincinnati papers about the uh, starting rotation or lack thereof. They haven't. But, again, you got Homer Bailey on the, on the, uh, on the shelf right now. You've also got uh, Anthony Disclafani. Yeah, he's on the shelf right now, too. Yeah. And, you know, that can't be helped. It is what it is. But apparently up there in Cincinnati, the, the, uh, the media are working them over pretty good. Yeah, and I mean, you know, let's face it. They went out and, and dealt with the bullpen. That was something they had to do. They had to do something. They, they, their bullpen was absolutely horrendous last year. Set a record uh, for most home runs allowed. Set a record for most games giving up a run. Um, you know, it, it was horrible. So they, they did address that. They went out and did what they needed to do, I think, to, to fix the bullpen. As long as uh, Rizal Iglesias is going to be healthy, and that's kind of up in the air right now as well. But uh, I think they've gone out and done some things to fix the bullpen. The problem now is the rotation. And this is a team that in 2012, when, when they were a solid team and made the playoffs, they had uh, six guys start a game as pitcher that year. And the only reason they had a sixth pitcher start a game was because um, of a doubleheader and they had to call a guy up from, from Louisville 
to start the second game of a doubleheader to keep everyone else on their on wow. their regular five day rotation. Need some arms. But you know, so, so they are a long ways from where they used to be, uh, just four or five years ago. Go we'll switch gears before I let him go. Again, we're talking to our buddy Greg Salyer. He's with us live here at Chick Fil A. The crossings in North Johnson City. Uh, the three best teams in spring training right now, if it matters, in the American League: the Yankees, Seattle, and Minnesota. Thirteen and nine, a team who.